It is a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you for the time. Of course, so nice to talk to you. Thank you. I I love what you and the team did, obviously, with your previous work. And I can I felt your presence on this every step of the way, and I love that. It's not always every creator who you can, you know, really feel that. That is so nice to hear. And I have had friends of mine who've seen the show were like, Megan, this really sounds like you. And I was like, I hope that's a compliment. But I agree. It it turned into um, my silly voice is pretty strong in there. (laughs) I love it. I mean, I think this is the perfect platform for it. I mean, Pitch Perfect, it, it, it seems like a match made in heaven. So I'm just curious for you, you know, at what point did you... Did you go, oh yeah, this is exactly what I need to be doing? Or how did that work out for you? Yeah. So I started as a fan of the series. Like I love musical theater and acapella. And so I love the music of the movies. I also, you know, was a big fan of Kay Cannon, who wrote the first movie and created these characters um, as a female comedy writer. So, you know, 10 years ago, I already was fully invested in the series. And then Elizabeth Banks and Max Handelman, the executive producers, um, had this idea that they wanted to expand the Pitch Perfect universe, maybe make some things that were not as obvious of a continuation of the stories. They knew I was a fan and had worked in television. So we sort of organically thought of this uh, slightly offbeat idea altogether. Well, the the idea of it being set in Germany, you've you've obviously done a lot of work to set this firmly in Germany. How much work does that take? Because you, it seems like you've got a lot of cameos there, the locations, everything from the pickles and everything else. What, <laughs> what did you have a, a timeline of how you're going to work all this into the story? I no, there were so many plates to be spinning with this show. One of them was you know, music first and foremost, like people are going to expect really big musical numbers from a Pitch Perfect show. So our show has a ton of music, acapella, covers, original songs. Um, The next plate to spin was, let's make sure that these characters that you've seen from the movies, Bumper and Peter, are recognizable to who they were, you know, in the movies, but have, we've deepened them and aged them a little bit. Um, so we wanted to make sure that continuity was there. And then the third thing was Berlin is an amazing place that if you're an American who has never traveled that much, which me and Bumper both are, you're constantly amazed and excited and also just like confused by certain things. So all the jokes of Bumper, uh, getting to know Germany were really based on all the Americans, their actual experience. But Berlin is like an amazing place that Americans have not seen a ton in comedy, at least. Um, so we wanted to take full advantage of it. Well, you you did a great job. All those plates seem to go uh, according to plan. Okay, uh, <laughs> you know, the cast, and obviously you get to work with Jamila again. What what did they bring to the story for you? Because they they do a fantastic job with these characters. It is truly amazing when you see a cast who so thoroughly understands their own characters and kind of the vision for the show. I think like the first thing that comes to my mind to answer that question is that the actors were all able to play the silliness and get all the jokes. They nailed all the jokes and I write in a very joke heavy way, but they also made these characters real and they played the depth of it too and the emotions. And Pitch Perfect has always been about friendship. And I think these actors are really adept at uh, keeping the friendship between them like first and foremost. Well, thank you so much for the time. I could I could talk to you for about an hour on all this, but I, I think our time is up. But Thank you so much. I can't, I can't, I hope to see a lot more of this. Thank you so much. That's so nice to hear. 